supporting someone's art is not worth the price if they affect society in such a negative way. It's like throwing a can on the side of the street and all of a sudden you're contributing to all this pollution that's plaguing our world. And this is to say the same for art. My name is Langan Garrett. I'm a current upper and my pronouns are she, her, hers. My name is Kashvi Rame and I'm a new upper from Washington, DC. So my article is about art and ethics and the philosophy behind whether you should support the artwork if the artist is a bad person. And I specifically put this in the sphere and the specter of music. My article is about Kanye West and the messaging that he perpetuates and how people still support his art despite the hatred that he puts out into the world. Well, originally I went to a summer camp where I did a project on um, ethics um, as well as art, but visual art specifically. And so um, after a friend of mine proposed this article to me, I was like, oh my God, this sounds like a great idea. I want to write this article because I want us all to think more deeply about how, like what messaging we allow to permeate within our society. And if we want that negativity and hatred to kind of be out in the world. If I support this artist and I know that they're a bad person, if I'm exposing these lyrics to my children, to the younger generation, what effect is that going to have on them? I want my readers to think about how their consumption affects the messaging that goes out to other people. And are we supporting them by giving them a platform to keep speaking and enough money so this keeps just revolving around and around so other people hear this and other people can be influenced by this.